What's going on guys, DJ App here, and I know you missed these music theory videos, so I am back because last night, Future dropped an album called The Wizard, and this particular song is called Temptation. It is produced by 22-year-old Memphis producer, Tay Keith. So we're gonna check out this particular scale, which is the C sharp minor scale. So let's hear this harmony, and the link will be in the description box so you can download it and dissect it yourself. And also, please leave a comment below of which songs that you want to hear off this album being breakdown musically. So the C sharp minor scale involves these seven keys right here with C sharp, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, back to A, C sharp. So let's hear that real fast. This particular scale is very versatile. It has a total of four sharps, so it's not very difficult to play. So if we was to hear those four sharps again, let's hear that. So it's the C sharp, D sharp, F sharp, and G sharp. So it's really easy to play. This is one of my favorites and it can be fridged with a regular C. So let's hear that example. So if I was to play a couple of chords from that. So basically what a Phrygian in between that would be a major variant. So that C would be that major variant. It also can cross between a melodic minor and a harmonic minor, which are two totally different minors, but they kind of intertwine together. The mood of these scales is a serious and emotional type scale. So if you're one of those guys that want to get that deep and dark and dramatic type feel, and that's pretty much how Future relayed himself on this album. So this is a great scale choice that fits Future's style. Also, I like to point out that this particular scale is used a lot in jazz. So it has a jazzy feel to it. So that's just to give you a general idea. If you're using like FL Studio 12.3 or higher, here's something that I always talk about in my videos, so I'm gonna continue this streak. And all you have to do is go over here to this drop down menu, go to your helpers, go to scale highlighting, select the C sharp, right click on that C sharp so the menu will stay up, and let's select a minor, a natural minor. Boom. Boom. So as you can see, everything fits. You can see that all the colors shift. So all the dark lines are the lines that you avoid when you are using this editing mode. And when you go ahead and edit your notes in there, you can just pick out what you want and pick up that type of groove. So speaking of this harmony, what makes this groove so special? Now, if you notice the rhythm, let's go ahead and count with that. This is called counting your bars. This is in 127 BPM, so this is double time. So keep in mind that the numbers that you see up here will not align with the counting because I'm counting in single time. So here we go. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. So you can hear that there is a mixture between half notes and whole notes. So the half notes being these notes over here mix up with the whole notes here as I played a little off beat in this part just because this is like my rendition of this particular song. So what I'm going to do from here is create something with the C sharp minor scale so you can hear some of the versatility in it and I'm going to play it for you. So let's hear it all together. Here we go. Mm. 
So what other songs do you want me to cover off of this album? Just let me know in the comment section. And also don't forget to download the free MIDI in the description box. Mm -hmm.